Well, Water Wise City is basically is a set of principles that, uh, that try to outline how to work with water in the cities. It's very different across the world. Sometimes you have drought, you have the scarcity of water and you see uh, basing protection and, and handling of the water and really careful about the water. Other cities like my, my own, I'm from Copenhagen, it's all about water and rainfall and heavy rainfall and cloud burst and, and, and uh, minimizing the, the risk to the cities. I think we've needed a framework of understanding that allows all the different actors to come together and um, start to get a lot more aligned. I talk about common purpose, that's people understanding the role of design professionals and the role of leaders and the role of communities and them coming together within this single framework. And the wisdom comes from us looking at what people have been doing elsewhere, understanding the context of what they've done and then sharing what's worked and sometimes what hasn't worked so well so that as a collective we start to make significant progress. I would like water professionals to take a good look at those principles, what's in there, um, get, uh, get, get your head inside this framework of understanding, then I'd like you to share that with at least 10 of your mates, your colleagues or your clients and we start to get this ripple effect. What we're tr about trying to do is share knowledge so that we all become more water wise. We've already got some cities who've who are demonstrating they're following those principles. Uh, cities like uh, Brisbane, um, cities like Shenzhen in China. I think we've seen initiatives like Sponge Cities in China, ABC Water in Singapore, some great things. But what we've not been able to do is set that in a broader framework. And that's exactly what the principles allow us to do. So it isn't about reinventing something, it's about starting to understand what we're already doing but bring that within a framework of understanding for everybody. I think it's important that we work under the same framework, so both uh, horizontally across agencies, etc., but also vertically, so from the local stakeholder to the highest authority. So we won't be implementing all of this in the same manner across the world, but we should be able to speak to one another and learn from each other, and therefore I think the, the principles are very important. In Copenhagen, we've been doing this for years, bringing the different city agencies together to address the urban environment together. I think the most famous uh, example is uh, the water quality. So today you can swim in the harbors of Copenhagen, which was not really something you would think realistic, maybe 10 or 15 years ago. And it also makes the water quality very visible to the Copenhageners. Um, so the shared vision that came maybe mostly from the city and the utilities is also something that is now visible to the local people.